You want to support Roller March Unfiltered? Be sure to join our Bring the Funk fan club. Every dollar that you give to us supports our daily digital show. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real as Roller Martin Unfiltered. Support the Roller Martin Unfiltered daily digital show by going to RollerMartinUnfiltered.com. You can make this possible. All right, folks, let's talk about coronavirus. Uh, stock market uh, tumbled in a huge <laughs> way today. <laughs> like, real big. <laughs> Uh, and, of course, uh, Donald Trump is trying to uh, fight himself out of the hole. Because remember he said, ah, no big deal. It is under control. Don't worry about it. Then, of course, all of a sudden, the Consensus for Disease Control goes, uh, no, this thing is happening. Right. Uh, he also uh, was telling his people not to play this thing up because he did not want it to hurt the economy. Well, dude, when you have a global pandemic on your hands, mm. it's going to have an economic impact. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so just, what do y'all make of him putting Mr. I don't believe in science, Mike Pence, the man who also allowed a major HIV outbreak yep. to take place in Indiana when he was governor as the point person on this here? I don't understand. That's why you have a surgeon general. Mm. Well, for an incapable regime, um, this is quite capable of them. Uh, it, it does not. It made sense for me to me that he would pass the football to Mike Pence. And you know, Reese and I were talking earlier, and I said, you know, it's it's interesting to me that you're talking about the stock market start market as of today plunged almost about three thousand points in a three day span. We saw the market dip below what was called a correction, right? And this is what brings this clown to talk to the American public about, as you said, what is possibly a global pandemic. When you look at all of the different countries, just look at the continents and you look at the different countries that have been impacted. And to think that the United States is in some way um, not going to be affected at the same rate that these other countries, mind you, developed countries um, have experienced it is very much so incompetent. And so this wall around um, who um, press has dubbed as Teflon Don, not necessarily from this side of the house, but they um, t- called him Teflon Don, where you're going to start to see appealing away of that because people are thinking twice about trips. People are thinking twice about, well, do I need to go to that restaurant or can I just go to the market and buy something, um, cook something at home? All of these differences, and that's not even on the larger scale, but when you're thinking about people-to-people contact and because there has been such an erosion of trust by this regime intentionally for their own favor, when you think about um, parts of government that have been gutted and you only have acting people Mm -hmm. that are in places where secretaries and decisive directors should be, and then when you think about the propping up of mediocre um, white boys into these positions or not capable or having not proved themselves when he himself has gone against intelligence and anybody that's spoken out against what he's said to be truth, which are largely spun out of conspiracy theory and info wars, that those people are removed from their positions. Now, how is it that anyone, no matter what side of the political spectrum that they're on, how is anyone to believe anything that comes out of your mouth? Liar, liar. Like, this is what you have majored in. And so what I'm most interested in right now at this moment is just seeing how the um, politicals who have been really spinning Donald Trump for the past three, four years now are going to really be very honest with the American public in that there is um, a, an active regime with a person at its head that the only person that can be trusted is that very same person that looks at the mirror. He only trusts himself. He is a one voice, um, one person um, audience. And so I'm really looking to see how the media is going to step up um, even with what we have going on um, coming up to Tuesday, coming up to South Carolina, to be able to parse and to be able to offer the public some real um, some real accuracy around what's actually happening. All right, folks, back to our Mark Unfiltered video in just one moment. All right, folks, are you looking to enhance your leadership or that of your team in 2020? Well, you should join Dr. Jackie Hood Martin for her newest online course at Mastermind Group, How Successful People Think. She'll be your guide as you learn timeless leadership principles to apply to daily living. The offer expires on February 28th. That's this week. So register for or start the online course today. Go to www.live2lead.com forward slash Leesburg. Live, L-I-V-E, the number two, 
L-E-A-D.com forward slash Leesburg. Now back to your Roland Martin Unfiltered Filter. See that name right there? Roland Martin Unfiltered. Like, share, subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's YouTube.com forward slash Roland S. Martin. And don't forget to turn on your notifications so when we go live, you'll know it.